Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back with another Southwest Virginia Fishing Report with Matt Riley of Matt Riley Fly Fishing. How are you doing, Matt? I'm doing great, Marvin. How are you? I'm just trying to stay out of trouble. I, I think since the last time we spoke, I think I saw an email from you that you're starting to uh, book guide trips again. Yeah, um, through through May, um, and well, I guess really through June 10 when our executive uh Stay at home order ends. Um, I'm I'm restricting everything to to uh, wade trips with clients who are sort of from the area. So um, actually had my first day back at it um, day before yesterday um, with a guy from a few minutes away. And and uh, you know it is nice because the, in the springtime the silver lining is in the springtime we get stretched in a lot of different directions because there's you know, in May, you know, we can be musky fishing, we can be smallmouth fishing, we can be trout fishing, and all of them are good. Um, but it's kind of nice to be uh, sort of have one one target right now. But that's that's what we're focused on right now is is um, trout trips and and uh, I'm doing a few smallmouth floats here and there when I when I get a break and and we'll start those back up in in June. Well, that's awesome. And I know you got a ton of rain after we last spoke, but that's kind of worked its way out of the system. And I think your, you know, week to 10 day forecast looks pretty good. It does. Yeah. Um, I think today and, and maybe tomorrow are kind of our last unseasonably cool days um, for the foreseeable future. So I think it's behind us the next week or so you know we don't have a whole lot of rain in the forecast just a healthy amount and, um highest in the in the mid to upper 70s and i think i saw 80 81 one day so um it should be good we should be in good shape well and since you're mostly guiding for trout i mean what are you seeing i know it's been a little bit cool but uh you know what do you recommend for folks on the uh the tip and tactic front yeah so uh, i mean things are great right now um even even with uh, some of the cooler weather, I mean, we've had mornings in the in the low 30s. I saw 28 um, the other the other morning um, when I was getting out to to, to leave the house. Um, so you know, mostly I've I've been starting the morning, you know, nymphing, fishing deeper and and slower, and and, and that depends on on the water too. You know, the last week or so, it's been coming down and and our trout streams are still a little a little full but they're dropping pretty steadily and and plenty clear and fishable um but with those higher higher flows you know getting down has been fairly important in the in the mornings when it's been cold and but then you know by the afternoon it seems like yeah three four o'clock it's uh it feels like spring a little bit you know when the sun comes out from behind the mountain and the trees and get up to that you know, 55, 60 degree mark some days. And, and we've been seeing, um, still some March Browns, um, some yellow stone flies, yellow sallies are, are out there occasionally. Um, and even been seeing some terrestrial insects. Like I saw some, uh, some grasshoppers along one of the, um, one of the banks that I like to fish with, uh, with like deer hair hoppers in the summertime the other day. Um, so, but there, there's a ton of different insects out and with the, the cooler weather, you know, lasting longer this spring, I think it's, you know, our traditional like hatch dates are kind of being spread out and, and, uh, blurred a little bit. So there's a lot of different bugs out right now. And, and I've been able to, to catch fish on a lot of different dry flies. I think I said that last time, um, but even just sort of big bushy you know, attractor dry flies like humpies and stimulators and, you know, pretty much, you know, most dry flies you've got in your box seem to be working right now. And um, as things start to drop down even more, um, that should get better. You know, it hasn't been as consistent uh, the last week or so since the water's been a little higher. But um, I'm, I'm thinking particularly this weekend, I've got another trip um, from a local client here we should be doing some some dry dropper fishing um, most of the day if it's going to be as warm as they say it is. Yeah, it's interesting too because that feedback about the hatches kind of getting pushed out later and later, almost like mm-hmm. you know, 
the way people say it used to be 10, 15, 20 years ago from a season perspective has been a pretty, pretty common refrain. You know, that's the feedback I've gotten from the folks in Bryson city too. And, um, so that's good to hear. And, um, you know, I guess now that you're going to start fishing more, it's going to cut into your writing time, but what have you been writing recently? Um, well, it's, well I, I just, uh, I just finished up a review for a piece of gear that I've been using a lot the last year or so. Um, Yeti's, uh, loadout go box, which is a gear box. Um, it's a uh, little on the pricey side, but like anything from Yeti, I think it's, it's built really well. Um, and I've, I've found it to be a great, uh, tool for doing like we did yesterday. Um, floating some of our smaller smallmouth rivers where I really try to strip my raft down and get it as wide as possible for the put in and take outs, which are um, usually kind of tricky. Um, it makes a good boat box or tackle box or, or, you know, dry box, um, whatever, whatever you need to use it for. Um, and I mentioned that on the last one, but it came out a few days after that report went out. So, um, it's it's still relevant i guess and then i just uh actually that back bay article i talked about a couple of months writing about the sort of the return of a fairly healthy largemouth bass population the back bay um came out in this this month's issue of virginia wildlife a couple of days ago and for the rural virginian this this uh week i i put together sort of a a uh story about um two really good friends of mine um jim richmond who's a fly fishing guide up on the new um that i've learned quite a bit from and fished with a lot and chuck craft who was probably my biggest mentor um in the fly fishing and, and guiding side of things and he passed away back in march uh march 9th actually the uh the worm moon the full moon of, of march um perhaps fittingly um, but been struggling a little while to figure out how to, how to write something that would, uh, sort of that memory and, and that guy justice. So this is my first attempt and we'll see how it goes, but that'll be out next week or actually this week it comes up today or tomorrow. Well, there you go. I will definitely put a link to that in the show notes and, you know, folks, we love questions at the articulate fly. If you have a question, just send it to us on the articulate fly Facebook page. Um, and if we read your question, I'll send you some articulate fly swag and you'll get it into a drawing, uh, for some cool stuff that, uh, Matt will put together at the end of the seasons, probably some combination of flies and Raleigh ride crafter stuff, but, uh, everybody's always happy. And before I let you hop, Matt, why don't you let folks know where they can find you so they can uh, get on your guide calendar here in the late spring and early summer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a good point. Um, the, uh, well, June is looking like it's going to fill up really quick because I'm still um, rescheduling people. I had to push from uh, late March and April when, you know, all this stuff was going on um, really heavy and fresh. But, um, yeah, the uh, website is mattreillyflyfishing.com, and my phone number and email and social media links and everything are on there. So I uh, pay pretty close attention to all those, so however you feel – um, best contact to me. I look forward to hearing from you. Well, that's awesome. And, you know, I'm glad to hear that the weather and the conditions are moving in the right direction. And, you know, it's nice to hear that um, it's safe for people to start kind of getting out and moving around and fishing a little bit more. And, you know, folks, if you can get out and take advantage of uh, this great weather we're having and uh, the great fishing season that uh, some of us have had a harder time enjoying uh, recently than we would like to and be safe and look out for your fellow man. Tight lines, everybody. Tight lines, Matt. All right. Thanks, Marvin. Thanks, Marvin.